hello YouTube, my name is Mel from Mel's Paper Mix. I'm a 24 year old cash stuffer here on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to be cash stuffing for April week four. I have $846. And for a little bit of background for March, I was unemployed. Um, I have a job, I actually started it today, the day that I'm filming, and I was, I'm really excited for the job. I'm very much looking forward to it. For the first month, I'm gonna have a bit of a guess because how my budget works, it's gonna fall like um, like a few days ahead of when I get my actual paycheck. And when I do get my paycheck, it's not gonna fee it's not going to be fully representative of what my normal paychecks will be. But I'm gonna just take a guess, but that'll be in my next video. This money came from my severance and my unemployment. So we have one, two, 250, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 710, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 800, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 846. So everything is here and I have placeholders just because um, some of the money went into my uh, high yield just so that I can get that direct deposit so I can get the highest um, APR, oh APY and I don't want to like transfer it between banks and such so I just left it in my high yield so that it can just earn me some interest and just one less step for me really um i'm gonna start off with my envelopes here i still haven't swapped them out yet but i have a ton of coins um and since it was like my last weekend without having a job i went and did a bit of spending but that's totally okay because i did have the money to do so i'm gonna put these to the side because i actually need my coin savings challenge and this is in my Etsy shop, so are the mini envelopes and placeholders. We have 50, $1, 150, $2, $250, oh my, $250, $260, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $900, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $
my first pass. So in this jar, I have $35.10. And I've colored in every single box. And now I get to color in a coin stack. And I'm just going to do this in the red once again. And the coin stack represents that, hey, I've colored in every single box. Um, and then I have 10 cents left over. So when I'm done, I'm going to color in, I'm going to wipe everything away. And then I'm going to color in the 10 cent box. So this is really exciting. This is going to be the first pass of me doing this coin challenge. And I'm so excited to fill it up again. I feel like it was so easy to save my coins and it kind of made it a little bit more fun just because I was really motivated to color those boxes in. So now I am going to, I'm going to move my calculator off to the side. I'm going to unstuff what we have left over. I have $3 left over from groceries. That's just going to go into my $1 savings challenge. And then I have $25. I didn't get gas at all this week. Um, but I kind of should have, but I'm just going to roll this over this $5 over and put $20 somewhere else. I have thought of where to do it, but I want to split it up into tens. Eating out has nothing left over and then spending has nothing left over. I went to the museum over the weekend. So that was really nice. I went to their cafe, just saw a lot of ex like, um, art installations. So it was really, really nice. And I'm glad that the weather was lovely as well. Okay, we are going to start off with groceries. This is getting 40. As usual, I am doing um, a lot of my shopping at Aldi. And then I also meal prep. And I'm still working my way through my freezer. Next is gas for my car. This is getting 25 and then a roll over five. So in total, this has 30. The reason why I'm rolling it over is because I haven't filled up last week. Um, I used about a third of my gas and gas prices are going up a little bit. And now that I'm starting work as well, I'm expecting my gas usage, usage to increase as well. But my commute is a lot shorter than what it was at my previous job. Oh, but um, 30 in eating out. And I'm doing uh, 20 and two fives. But my first day was today and it was so nice. It's just, I'm a, uh, I am an engineer, a process engineer. Um, and it's going to be a little different because I am going to be working at, at a plant. And it's, to me, it's super exciting just because I am able to work with my hands. It's, a, it's very close next to me um, in my area. And... Yeah, today we just did like uh, a lot of just orientation type of things. So we did a lot of, let me think. We did um, for engineering, it was like a lot of quality stuff, a lot of safety, just the normal orientation, like the benefits, the pay, the vacation, that type of thing. But I am happy. I'm so excited to be working again and to work for this company specifically. So I'm just really excited. Okay, Buffer has $50. This is for any overspending in my cash envelopes that has nothing. My emergency fund, this is insanely exciting because this is gonna get fully funded to $10,000. How oh, crazy. Oh my gosh, okay. I have been working towards this for so long. I thankfully did not have to use any of my emergency fund while I was unemployed because I had severance and I was a bit ahead on my bills. And thankfully I did not have to spend from my emergency fund. It's funded for three months, but I wanted to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. But with the circumstances that I've been through, I'm able to fully fund it right now, which is insane to say. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand, one, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, eight fifty, nine hundred, nine fifty, ten thousand dollars, ten thousand and ten dollars. And that to me, I am so proud of myself for being able, for like setting that much aside. I am just so proud of myself um, for doing that. Uh, and I feel like I have just like a weight just off of me knowing that 
if the case happens where I become unemployed again, I can breathe easy and take my time with my job search, knowing that I have $10,000 to back me up. That just feels so nice. Now I want to focus on my car loan and I also want to try and build a little bit more of a bill buffer again. So kind of get towards another month um, for my emergency fund, but this is more towards getting get an, uh, another month ahead on my bills. So that's gonna be my next goal alongside with um, my car. But $10,000, that is crazy to me. Now it's medical and this is getting a 20 and a 10. This is for any just like big medical expenses. I'm still on my parents' um, health insurance. Very lucky to be able to say that. Very thankful to my parents for letting me stay on that plan. We have 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 30, 50, 70, 80, 85, 485 in here. And I'm going to be using this for any co-pays. Um, whenever I had to get like dental stuff done, I use this. Um, so that's what this is for. And any medication because it's allergy season and I pull from here as well. My future pet is going to get $5. I finally scheduled that appointment to meet, to get like an allergy test to get started hopefully on those allergy shots because I want to get a cat, but surprise, surprise, I'm allergic to them. So my future pet has 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 255. And someone mentioned in my comments that they they make um, cat food now that, um, um, so I'm allergic to an, ap duh, an allergen. Um, and this cat food um, decreases the amount of allergens that they will produce. That is so freaking cool. I love that. That is so cool. Um, extra week is for any of those five week months. Um, the next one is going to be in July, January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, June. Sorry. Quarter two, it's going to be in June and it has $60. I'm going to need 120, but I still have a bit of time. So nothing is going to go in there. Gym. This is an exciting one because I actually got, so I'm getting into running right now um, and I want to put $10 from here, but I don't want to put this 20 in here. So I'm going to put this down and just, well, let me see. Um, maybe medical. I don't think medical has two tens. That's the thing. Yeah, medical doesn't have two tens. I need something with Oh, you know what? I think memberships. I can swap it out for something in memberships. Yep. I'll just do that. Okay. Going back. But yeah, I got some running shoes and I went to a running store because I'm not a running expert. Um, and my feet are a little bit weird. One is bigger than the other, but by a big margin, a half size. And... Um, I am not an expert in running, so I went to the people that are experts. So um, I, was exp I was like, I have $200, that is my max. And they came out with shoes that are like 140, with tax it was 148. And I'm gonna put $10 of my rollover in here for gym, just so I can get this back up. It was at 200 and I'm just gonna build it back up because you never know. Right now, I'm the shoes made me like so excited for running. I'm like, I'm just so excited to get into it. Um, I've started using the Nike running app. I'm running longer distances for longer times. And I'm just so excited. And I'm very happy with the purchase. Memberships is going to get $6. This is for Spotify, Apple Storage, and I'm thinking Apple Storage. And um, Minecraft and HBO Max. But... HBO Max and Minecraft, I do share with someone. So now memberships has 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 35 in memberships. And my memberships in total are about $20. So it's a little more than I needed, but that's totally okay. Um, this is my unlabeled Roth IRA. I'm putting $60 in here just because this money came from my severance. 
um, and my unemployment, none of that went obviously into my Roth IRA. Um, so I want to put some towards my, wait, sorry, none of it went toward my 401k, so I'm putting some in my Roth IRA. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40, and 160. This is going to be the biggest contribution to my Roth IRA um, yet, which is really exciting. And this is after putting a big, big chunk into my car loan as well. So I am just like meeting my, well, not meeting, I'm on track with my goals and I could not be happier because I was really worried that me being unemployed would derail my progress, but that was not, that has not been the case. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, clothes isn't getting anything, but this already has a hundred. Family is gonna get 10. This has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, and 32. Christmas isn't going to be getting anything, but this has 1, 200, 250, and 260. My goal is going to be 700. And last year I did a lot of kind of like DIYing. I had a lot of fun with it. I did get feedback that people really liked and enjoyed it as well. I just need to start it earlier. I just need to start it earlier. <laughs> because I was rushing towards the end. I was so uh, stressed and I shouldn't be. Apartment is 150, fully funded. This is like for any like decorations or things, but I really don't wanna do, I don't wanna like add on to it. It's like mostly hangers. That's the biggest thing that I was thinking about getting was hangers. I'm putting $10 extra into bulk food. This is for Sam's Club, any international markets, um, that I stock up on, like H Mart, um, Viet Hoa, just things that I stock up on for like Asian goods, uh, I pull from here. This has 100, 5, 10, 15, and 116. I want to put this at 150. I spent from this, that's why I'm building it back up. Gifts is going to be getting $20. Mother's Day is going to be coming up. I can't say what I'm planning or any thoughts about that, sorry, 20, 40, 60, 85, just because my mom sporadically watches these videos and I don't wanna ruin her surprise. Next is dates. This is gonna get 25. I did pull from this just a little bit. Um, we had to pay for parking and um, we went and stopped at the cafe in there, which was really nice. 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, and 42 in dates. Now that it's getting warm, we're doing like those monthly dates again. We kind of stopped in the winter time just because we were both getting really busy, but now it's summertime, we're picking it back up and I'm so excited and the weather's gonna get really nice. I'm just really excited. Projects isn't getting anything, but this has $7. This is mainly used for my hobbies. I have a lot of hobbies and I cycle through them all um, pretty frequently. Right now it's cross stitch, making really good progress. I'd say I'm about 65% of the way done. It's been taking, it's taken me two years because like I said, I cycle through my hobbies. Let me know if you're this way too, but I, I like, I cycle through them. I did cross, cross stitch. Um, and then I did cross, crochet. Then I did embroidery. Then I did um, junk journaling, which I just do normal journaling now. Um, just a lot of making things with my hands. Next is my Etsy shop, Mel's Paper Makes, which is linked below. This is getting a five. And I did forget to say that I have budget sheets in my description, check them out. I have budget sheets and um, savings challenges from my 1K giveaway. This has 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And the ones that are linked, those are free in my Google Drive, just to celebrate and give back to the community. Next is spending. I did spend from here. This is gonna get 60 in a placeholder and a 10. But yeah, I spent from here. Let me just see what I got. Mm. Yeah, just generic spending. I did get a book, which, which is exciting. But this is gonna get 60. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, and 107 in spending. 
which is a really healthy amount. Still gonna try to get um, a bike helmet so that during the summer months I can bike to work because that's something that I'm able to do. Toiletries is gonna get a five and a 10 and I did spend from here to get my um, face lotion that did run out. So the next thing I wanna get is um, uh, sunscreen. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 for toiletries. Next is household, but this isn't going to be getting anything. 20, 30, 35. These are like cleaning things, um, sponges, that kind of thing. This is my racing um, savings challenge. This is just, yeah, just a savings challenge for me. And it is getting $10. Um, Okay, I did not think this out properly because I'm putting in 10 and I have some dollar bills in the front to, um, because I don't want to do like pour like five eighths of a wheel or five eighths of a car. So I just put it in the front. But the thing is, I'm going to put in a 10. But like, I need $2 to come out because I need 16. But you know what? I'm thinking way too much. I'm just going to put it in the front. And when I get that extra dollar, I'm going to color in two icons. I am not going to make this hard for myself. Um, I don't want to do the math right now. Or like figure out and mess with my denominations at all. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just going, oh, but... You know what? You know what I could do? I could... Oh, wait, hold on. I said I didn't want to do math. I guess I lied. Because I can take this 10, swap it out for two fives. I don't want to do math. No, I don't want to play with my bills. But that's a lie. I guess I did. Okay, here's what I can do. Hello. Five... Six, seven, eight. Woohoo. Boom. Seven dollars here, waiting to be stuffed. And I can put those in the back. I can color in an icon. Hello. Okay. I have my red highlighter from before. We're going to color in another car. Could be Ferrari, but it could be that. I don't know if you guys watch. Um, okay. So this is actually for. Um, um, racing tickets not for an f1 event just because those are insanely expensive i don't have that type of money yet um but there are other racing categories this is for imsa there's a race near me and i am going to be i'm gonna make that trek to go on up there uh to go and see but we have five icons colored in that means we have forty dollars and then we have Oh wait, no, we have six icons, $48, and then we have seven waiting to be stuffed. Okay, we're gonna put those in. And that does it for my savings. No, not my savings, my sinking funds. Now we're gonna finally go on to my grouping binder. And this has my car. This is gonna get 20, 25 into two categories. In total, that is 50. And, okay. So 25 going into car maintenance. Let's see. 500, 600, 650, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 750, 755, 76, 7, 75789. Oh my goodness. I messed up. We're gonna do this properly now. 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, and 4. 764. Yes. 764 in car maintenance. And I think I do need to pull out of this because I need some batteries for my key fob. Let me move things around so that I can get my calculator out. 764. This is my car deductible. This is fully funded at 500. 
car registration for that little sticker. I paid it this month, so it is at zero. And then $25 is going into car insurance. I pay my car insurance in like those six month um, uh, durations. And I just stuff it um, like, I'll just save up for it instead of paying it every single month because I do save some money doing it that way. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, and 17. Plus 117 means that we have 1,300, 800, whoa, 1,381 dollars towards my car. I guess me starting work makes my brain go a little funky. Next is my friend's wedding. This is happening at the end of the summer. We'll do 10, okay, it is getting 40 but it's gonna get a 20 and two tens. Okay, we have dress and accessories. I have spent from this and I have 145 left. Transportation, because I will need to fly for it. Housing, fully funded at 100. Gift is fully funded at 50. Events is fully funded at 150. And then $40 is going into beauty appointments. Now this has 150, 70, 80, 90, 200. I want to do my own um, hair, nails, and makeup, but if the bride requests that we all do this thing, um, then I have the money for it, but I only have one category left, which is miscellaneous, which is exciting. So, fully funded category in there, on top of my emergency fund. Um, that means in total, oops, I have $945 saved for my friend's wedding. Next is travel. Since I'm gonna be flying for her wedding, I thought, why don't I make a little trip from it? This is gonna be getting, um, $50 and then another $10. So this one, pre-trip, fully funded at $150. Housing, fully funded at $210. Rental car, fully funded at $225. And then this is going into food and drinks. And it only needs $50. So, one, two, three, 354, wait, wait, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, what in the world? 450. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, three, 54, 450. How, how did that happen? Oh, you know what? I already had 400 in there. This needed to go, all of this needed to go into parking and gas. I apologize for that confusion. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars going into parking and gas. So sorry for that confusion. I apologize. Okay. This has 450. This one has 60. In total, this has 1,090 dollars saved up for it. And we have one, two, three, and a bit three-ish categories left to fully fund. Next is moving. I've extended my lease just to decide if I want to stay here or not. Safety deposit is for like when you move into an apartment, you have to pay a safety deposit. Um, and this is a portion of the rent. Um, it could be a portion or it could be a few times the rent just to have a safeguard for the actual owners. Um, this is fully funded at 800. Moving costs are fully funded at 200. And then $80 is going into here. Um, is 50, okay, this is fully funded. Electric and internet is fully funded at 150. So $80 is going into miscellaneous. 50, 70, 80. So, 
$1,230 is saved up between four envelopes and I have one-ish left to go. All right, so that does it for moving and that does it for the binder as a whole. Put these all to the side because now I have a few dollar bills to go into my $1 savings challenge. Upside down, I knew it. One, two, three dollars going in here. My next video is going to be a cash condensing and I will see you then. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. A little more chatty today, but I hope you all have a great day and check out those budget sheets and those savings challenges if you're interested. Bye.